do me a favor and I promise you that these problems are unlike the ones that you have ever seen before. So these from save me hundreds of hours and I'm not talking about how to tell AI to write in a specific tone or to pretend to be someone else. I think that technique is kind of ubiquitous and also I already explained that on my previous video so you can check that later. But in this video, I'm going to show you some simple prompts that will save you tons of time while improving your productivity. So let's start with my favorite prompt. Alright, for the first prompt, essentially we are trying to force the AI to write like you or to write like someone else. So from my experience, after I'm trying to craft some prompt to generate the content that I want, usually it's not always get it right and a lot of times the AI will give you a completely different answer even though you're using the same prompt. Instead, I highly recommend to just give the AI some examples and then the AI should be able to learn from it and therefore can create a new content based on the the example that you have provided so you can use this ai prompt let me copy and paste it here okay the prompt goes like this write a short reddit post about why pineapple belongs to pizza in the format of the following example capturing the essence tone and style here's the example okay i have to explain a bit here you can ask the ai to write a blog post an email or a facebook post or anything else and then you can change this to whatever topic that you want and then for the example i'm going to use this post on the Reddit. Basically, this post is very technical. It is talking about website and WordPress, but the topic that I'm asking the AI to generate is about pineapple belongs to pizza, which is completely different. But given that we are giving it the example, the AI should be able to understand the kind of content or the kind of style that we are asking, and therefore the result is going to be much more accurate. So let's click enter and let's see what is going to happen. Let's see what is the kind of content that ChatGPT will generate for us. Okay, now we have the result and yeah, I'm just reading it for a few seconds and I can tell that the style or the feeling or the sentiment of this new content is very similar to the original content here on Reddit. So that's essentially how you can use this technique to generate a new content using the kind of format or style from an existing content. And I think at the end of the day, it is almost like you are talking to someone. You can give all sorts of definitions but it's a lot easier to just give them an example and people or even AI can understand way better using an example than just a raw definition. So use this program to save your time. Okay, for the next prompt, we are going to be using something called Code Snippets. Code Snippets is just a tiny box in AI response that will be separated from the rest of the content. Code Snippet is obviously used to display some code and it's very helpful for developers and coders. But there is one element from this tiny feature that can be useful for a lot of people beyond just coders. Let me give you an example. I'm going to copy this prompt. This is not the prompt that I'm about to show you. This is just giving you some idea about how code snippet can be helpful in a lot of cases. So this prompt is give me three relevant emojis for a YouTube short titled Gutenberg is better than Elementor page builder. Okay, basically I just want to get some emoji ideas for my YouTube video title and the AI will give me some response and they will give me some emojis that I could use on my video. But I just want to get it very quickly. I just want to be able to copy one of these three emojis and then paste it to my content. Normally you have to select the content and then right click and then copy and then you can paste it somewhere else but called snippets has a one click button that just letting you copy the content very quickly let me give you the prompt that you should be using okay let's paste this prompt and there you go the prompt is more or less the same i think the first sentence is the same but this is the prompt that you should start be adding to your prompt a response in three separate code windows for each emoji so i can copy it quickly quickly. Notice that I changed the wording from code snippers to code windows because I tried it on many AIs and somehow they're not giving me the code snippers that I was looking for. So I don't know why, but I think code windows in this case is way better than code snippets for some reason. Anyway, let's give it another try and let's see what is the response. Right now they have three different code snippets and if I want to get one of them, I can just click copy and that content is basically being copied 
with my clipboard and I can paste it anywhere. So this prompt is very useful to get you several different ideas and then it will allow you to copy one of them without having to manually select them, right click and then copy. You just need to click on the copy button and the content is copied to your clipboard. So it's going to save you a lot of time. For the final prompt, I'm gonna be using Cloud just to show you that this prompt can work on various chat AIs. So the prompt that I'm about to show you is called In This Chat Window. Essentially, when you're applying this keyword to your prompt, you can specify the kind of response that you want to get every single time you insert something into the AI without manually repeating the prompt over and over again. The concept may be a bit more difficult to understand, but let me give you an example. I'm going to just combine it with the previous prompt. So the prompt goes like this. In this chat window, I'm going to input an Instagram caption and your task is to respond with relevant hashtags for the caption in the code window so I can copy it quickly. Got it? Okay, I need to explain a bit here. The in this chat window keyword is essentially telling the AI that their response should be the same every single time in this particular chat window. This is going to be the requirement and this is just giving the context or giving the premise that the response should be consistent no matter what I enter into the input field. So let's click enter and let's see the response. Right now the AI understand that my input is going to be treated as an Instagram caption and it will respond back to me with some hashtags that is relevant to that caption. Let's say the caption is going to be I'm hungry and the response is going to be just hashtags. You can see that the response in the code snippet window and I can just copy it quickly. And if I try something else like it's rainy today, the response is also in the same format, which is in the chat window and I can copy it quickly. So this prompt is very helpful to speed up your process, especially if you have some content that is repeating or you just want to get something very quickly without having to manually enter in the prompt every single time. But there is one caveat here. A lot of AIs have limited token size window. Essentially, if you give it so many requests, eventually the AI might forget the initial prompt that you are asking. In that case, it is recommended to remind the AI again by just giving it the same prompt in maybe one every 20 or 30 responses. Another consideration is the AI that you are using. For example, ChatGPT 4.0, the free version, has only 8,000 token context window, while Cloud has over 24,000 context window, which is way larger than ChatGPT 4.0. And another thing that I like from Cloud is the new artifacts feature that basically allows you to create a new type of content that was impossible or very difficult to create for average person. So if you want to get something like this to your article, then check out this video and I'll see you there.